PC leader Tim Houston had what you could arguably call his best day ever in the House, and that had to do uh, with the appointment, perhaps wonky appointment or ham-fisted appointment of a chief justice. Driving it at this issue, of course, is the Tory effort to continue to build a narrative that this government does what it wants, that it's not accountable, and that it's not transparent. Still, to your point, Houston looked really good on Thursday. The problem is that ultimately Fury does have the right to appoint the judge, and so at best what he's probably guilty of is wasting the time of the people on that committee. Well, and the other issue is that may be an important issue for one day within the four walls of Province House, outside Province House. Does it really resonate very much uh, with Nova Scotians? I would say probably not. Where well, and it didn't, least... even, it didn't even resonate so well here the next day when they tried to go back to it on the Friday because they had nothing new to add to the it. The well was dry. Right. I'm not sure the average Nova Scotian really cares how a Chief Justice is appointed. What you really want is something that you can uh, get your teeth into, that you can build support on. I'm not sure this is the kind of issue that does that. We saw uh, Daryl Dexter do it with the affordability of long-term care. Or what uh, Stephen McNeil did as Liberal leader, which is uh, pound on power rates and trying to keep them low. Uh, so both Gary Burrell uh, for the NDP and Tim Houston for the PCs still trying to find that one issue that will resonate outside Province House as we build uh, momentum towards the next election in about two years' time.